let me tell you something kind of surprising. Something you might never have guessed, even if you're someone who pays attention to what's happening in your city, or you like to keep up with new tech, or you're just a little bit curious about how the world around you actually works. You ever hop on a city bus, maybe heading to work, or meeting friends, or just trying to get across town, and you don't really think twice about what you're riding? I mean, it's a bus. It's got seats, got wheels, gets you where you're going, and that's pretty much the story, right? What if I told you that for a lot of people in the U.S. right now, the bus you're riding might have a secret? Not like a hidden camera or a weird smell, though, to be honest, there's always a weird smell, but something way bigger than that. What if I told you that the bus you're riding is actually built by a Chinese company called BYD, and you probably didn't even know it? Yeah, I know. It sounds like one of those random facts you hear at a bar and you're like, wait, really? But it's true. And the wildest part is, BYD isn't just some tiny company sneaking a few buses into the country. They're one of the biggest electric vehicle makers in the world, and their buses are rolling through American cities right now, quietly, literally, and figuratively. It's like the world's most low-key takeover of public transit, and most people have no idea it's happening. So, here's the thing. I started noticing these buses a while back. I live in a city where public transportation is actually pretty decent, and I'm the kind of person who likes to look for the little details. You know, the logos on the steering wheel, the weird patterns on the seat fabric, that kind of thing. One day, on this super quiet bus, like almost suspiciously quiet, no engine rumble, no diesel smell, just this gentle electric hum, and I glance up at the front, and I see this badge, BYD. I'm thinking, wait, what is BYD? Is, is that a local company? Is it some new startup? So I pull out my phone to a quick search and boom, turns out BYD stands for Build Your Dreams and it's a massive Chinese company that's been making electric vehicles for years. Now, before we go any further, let me just say, if you're into this kind of thing, if you like learning about the stuff that's hiding in plain sight, or you just want to stay ahead of the curve on all things tech and future, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Seriously, it's the easiest way to make sure you don't miss out, and I promise there's always more where this came from. All right, back to BYD. So I'm sitting there on this bus, and I start wondering how many other people have no idea that they're riding around in a piece of Chinese engineering, and why is nobody talking about this? I mean, we hear so much about Tesla and Rivian and all these other electric vehicle companies, but BYD is just kind of there. It's like the Clark Kent of buses, totally unassuming, but secretly kind of a superhero. Let's rewind for a second and talk about how BYD even got here. BYD started out in China, making batteries, and then they moved into cars, buses, trucks, you name it. In China, they're huge, like outselling Tesla huge. But in the US, most people have never even heard of them, unless you're really deep into the EV world. And yet, their buses are everywhere. Los Angeles, check. Columbia, Missouri, yep. Wenatchee, Washington, you bet. Even places like Martha's Vineyard and Nantucket, places you wouldn't necessarily think of as hotbeds of Chinese tech, are running BYD buses. And get this, a lot of these buses aren't even shipped over from China. No, BYD actually has a factory in Lancaster, California, where they assemble these buses using mostly U.S. source parts. That's because of something called the Buy America requirement, which basically says that if you want to sell buses to U.S. transit agencies, you've got to build them here and use American parts. So BYD set up shop in California, hired a bunch of local workers, and started cranking out electric buses. But here's the twist. Even though these buses are built in the U.S., they're still very much BYD. The technology, the design, the batteries, all of that comes from the company's roots in China. It's this weird blend of global and local, and it kind of flies under the radar because, let's be honest, most people don't really care who makes their bus. They just want it to show up on time and not smell like feet. Now let's talk about what makes these buses different. First off, they're electric. That means no gas, no diesel, no exhaust fumes. If you've ever ridden a regular city bus, you know the feeling. You're waiting at the stop, the bus pulls up, and you get hit with this wave of hot, stinky air from the engine. With a BYD bus, that just doesn't happen. They're quiet, they're clean, and they're surprisingly smooth. It's almost like riding a giant golf cart, but, you know, with actual seats and doors and stuff. 
and the range on these things, it's pretty impressive. Some of their models can go up to 150, even 220 miles on a single charge. That's more than enough for a full day of city routes, shuttling people back and forth without ever stopping for gas. And because they're electric, they're way cheaper to run and maintain. No oil changes, no complicated transmissions, just a big battery and some electric motors. But here's the part that really blows my mind. Most people have no idea. The BYD logo isn't plastered all over the bus. There's no giant made by BYD sign. In fact, a lot of transit agencies don't even mention the brand. It's just a bus doing its thing, blending into the background. It's almost like BYD wants to be invisible, just quietly taking over the streets one route at a time. Let's zoom in on a few places where BYD buses are making a real impact. Take Los Angeles, for example. The city's Department of Transportation made the biggest single order of battery electric buses in U.S. history, a whopping 130 BYD K7M buses. That's not a small pilot program. That's a full-on commitment. And these buses have been running since 2014, so we're not talking about some experiment that might fizzle out. They're here, they're working, and people are riding them every single day. Or look at the Antelope Valley Transit Authority, also in California. They've gone all in on electric buses, with dozens of BYDs in their fleet. Their goal, 100% electric fleet. No more diesel, no more natural gas, just clean, quiet buses. And they're actually doing it. It's not just a press release or a promise for the future. It's happening right now. And it's not just California. Columbia, Missouri, yeah, Missouri, has a fleet of BYD K9 and K7 buses running around the city and the University of Missouri campus. They were actually the first in the state to have a battery electric transit fleet in regular service. Wenatchee, Washington, is another one. They've got BYD buses running all over Sheelan and Douglas counties, helping people get to work, school, wherever they need to go. Even the islands are getting in on the action. Martha's Vineyard and Nantucket, those classic New England spots, are using BYD K9M buses to shuttle people to and from the ferry terminals. So whether you're in a big city, a college town, or a sleepy island community, there's a good chance you've already ridden a BYD bus and just didn't know it. Now, I know what you're thinking. Okay, so there are a bunch of electric buses out there. Why does it matter who makes them? And that's a fair question. But here's the thing. BYD isn't just any company. They're a symbol of how global the world has become and how technology from one side of the planet can end up shaping daily life on the other. It's like globalization in action, but instead of cheap t-shirts or smartphones, it's the bus you take to work. And there's another layer to this story. In a lot of ways, BYD is doing what Tesla did for electric cars, but for public transit. They're proving that electric buses aren't just a futuristic idea. They're a practical, affordable, and reliable way to move people around cities right now. And because they're building these buses in the U.S., they're creating jobs, supporting local economies, and helping cities meet their sustainability goals. Think about it. Every BYD bus on the road means fewer emissions, less air pollution, and a quieter city. If you've ever lived near a busy bus route, you know how loud those old diesel buses can be. It's like having a lawnmower drive by your window every 10 minutes. With electric buses, that noise just disappears. You can actually hear yourself think or have a conversation or just enjoy the city without all the racket. And it's not just about the environment. These buses are packed with cool features. Some of them have vehicle-to-grid technology, which basically means they can act as giant batteries when they're not driving around. So, during a blackout or a power crunch, the city can tap into the bus's batteries to keep the lights on. It's like having a fleet of rolling power banks, just in case. But maybe the most interesting thing about BYD's buses is how invisible they are. I mean, you'd think that a company making such a big impact would want to shout it from the rooftops, but instead they're just quietly doing their thing, letting the buses speak for themselves. And honestly, that's kind of refreshing. There's no hype, no flashy marketing, just results. So next time you're on a city bus, especially if it's weirdly quiet and doesn't smell like diesel, take a look around. 
check the badge at the front or the little logo by the door. You might just be riding a BYD bus and not even realize it. And if you are, you're part of a much bigger story. A story about how the world is changing, how technology is reshaping even the most ordinary parts of our lives, and how sometimes the most interesting things are the ones hiding in plain sight. Now, I want to dig a little deeper into what this all means for us as regular people just trying to get around, because let's face it, most of us don't spend a lot of time thinking about buses, they're just there. But when you start to pay attention, you realize that public transit is kind of the backbone of a city, it's what makes everything else possible. And when you swap out old, noisy, polluting buses for clean, quiet, electric ones, it changes the whole vibe of a place. Imagine you're waiting at a bus stop on a hot summer day. The old diesel bus pulls up and you get blasted with heat and exhaust. Not exactly a great start to your day. Now picture an electric bus rolling up. No fumes, barely any noise, just a smooth ride waiting for you. It's a totally different experience, and it makes public transit feel a little more, well, civilized. And the best part? You don't have to do anything special to be a part of this change. You don't have to buy a new car or install solar panels or make some big lifestyle shift. Just by taking the bus, you're already helping to cut emissions, reduce traffic, and make your city a better place. It's one of those rare cases where the easy choice is also the right one. But let's not ignore the elephant in the room, the whole made in China thing. For some people, that's a sticking point. There's a lot of debate about buying American, supporting local jobs, and all that. And I get it. It's a complicated issue. But here's the thing. BYD is actually building these buses in America, with American workers, using mostly American parts. So, in a weird way, they're more American than a lot of things we buy every day. It's a global company, but the impact is local. And that's kind of the story of our time, isn't it? The lines between here and there are getting blurrier every day. Your phone might be designed in California, assembled in China, and shipped all over the world. Your bus might be engineered in Shenzhen, built in California, and rolling down Main Street in Missouri. It's all connected, and the more you look, the more you realize how much the world has changed. I think that's part of what makes the BYD story so interesting. It's not just about buses or even about electric vehicles. It's about how technology, business, and everyday life are all tangled up together. It's about how the choices we make, where we build things, how we power them, who we hire, shape the world we live in. And honestly, it makes me a little hopeful. Because if we can quietly swap out thousands of old polluting buses for clean electric ones without anyone even really noticing, what else could we change if we just decided to do it? What other parts of our lives could be better, cleaner, quieter, without a lot of drama or disruption? So next time you're riding the bus, take a second to look around. Notice the little details. Listen for the quiet hum of the electric motor. And remember that you're part of something bigger, a quiet revolution that's changing the way we move, one ride at a time. And hey, if you're as fascinated by this stuff as I am, don't forget to subscribe. There's a whole world of hidden stories out there just waiting to be discovered. And who knows, the next time you step onto a bus or a train or even just walk down the street, you might see something that makes you stop and think, huh, I never knew that. And that, my friends, is what keeps life interesting.